In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins to ask God and one another pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith and eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women he handed them over for prisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Your response is, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his mighty might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, Alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, 
you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of the, my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, in today's first reading from the Acts, we see on the one side there is persecution of the church. So persecution of the church has been there ever since the church existed. So we see Paul himself was a persecutor of the church and he drags the people out, he tries to kill them, those who proclaimed. But at the same time, we will also see in many parts of the world, at the same time, there was the proclamation of the gospel. We see Philip proclaiming the gospel and people were so happy about hearing the good news and they embraced Christianity. They started following the Lord. So this aspect of the church being persecuted and church being proclaimed is part and parcel of our history. And it goes on even today. So therefore, when we hear about the persecution of the church in various parts of the world, and more than the persecution of the church, people rejecting the church, people rejecting Jesus as their savior, or people callous, um, way of taking it for granted, you know, what, you know, you know, why should I believe in Jesus Christ? Why should I believe in the church? Why should I follow the norms of the church, the rules of the church, or the teachings of the church? A callous attitude. This has been there, my dear friends. So we should not feel worried about this kind of, uh, callous attitude of the people. My friends, I am certain that now, more than ever before, we know the importance of faith. Today's Gospel, the Lord says, I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. And that bread is what we receive in the Lord. And I know, I have heard many a people telling that they really miss receiving the Holy Eucharist. They re really, although they are able to receive the Lord um, spiritually, that is not as, what is there, as satisfying as really receiving the Lord sacramentally in the Holy Eucharist. My friends, that thirst for the Lord should increase in each one of us. That thirst to receive the Lord should increase in each one of us. And that is going to, when we are able to receive the Lord, that will change us for the better. Because just like the people in the, at the very beginning of the church, they all thirsted, waited for the apostles and the priests to come place to place to offer the Holy Eucharist. They perhaps might have receive the Eucharist only once in six months. That is the case of the early church. And therefore they had that fervent um, desire to receive him sacramentally. So my friends, as we, we are in a state of almost complete uh, abstinence uh, from receiving the Lord sacramentally, let your thirst for him increase so that more and more blessing may come down upon you and your family 
So during this time also let us pray for our own members of the family who perhaps have gone away from the church, who perhaps have taken this callous attitude of, you know, I don't care about the Lord. Let us pray for them. And that is our responsibility. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, wash away from my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself to for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the unchanging hosts sing together the unending King of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when Sapo was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the bishops and clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters are fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Bring them and all the depart the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints are pleased to you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, a God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joy of the hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. May or not. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ bring us life everlasting. Amen. 
my dear friends let's close our eyes and ask the lord to come in your hearts spiritually that you experience his presence in your hearts Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the son and the holy spirit amen as is now ended let us go in the peace of christ thanks be to god my friends let's offer all our family members all our friends especially those who are suffering due to corona virus let's pray for them remember o oh most gracious virgin mary that now was it known that anyone who fled your protection implored thy help and so the intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence i fly unto you o virgin of virgins my mother to you i come before you i stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of the word incarnate despise not our petitions but in your clemency hear and answer them amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen have a wonderful day